Instagram hashtags are a great way to showcase content related to your niche through different hashtags. But the problem though is Instagram doesn't give us an easy way to embed our hashtag feed on our WordPress website, especially without a developer. But don't worry, in this video, I'll show you how you can add an Instagram hashtag feed like this onto your WordPress website in just a few easy steps. So if you're ready, let's get started. To create our Instagram hashtag feed, we'll use the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. This plugin lets you add a beautiful and responsive Instagram feed onto your WordPress website in a matter of minutes. You can find and purchase the plugin on smashballoon.com. And once you've purchased it, you'll find your license key and download button for the plugin. Once you've downloaded Instagram Feed Pro, you can head over to your WordPress dashboard. Go into plugins on the left-hand side and press add new. Now click on upload plugin at the top and simply upload the zip file you downloaded for Instagram Feed Pro. Once installed, we can activate the plugin as well. The plugin is now installed and ready to go. Next, let's go and activate our license key before creating our Instagram feed. On the left-hand side menu, you now notice that we have Instagram feed. Hover over it and click on settings. Then here, you can paste your license key and click on activate. Once your license key is activated, we're all set to create our new Instagram hashtags feed. To get started, hover over Instagram feed once again and click on all feeds. Next, click on add new at the top. Our plugin lets you create three different types of Instagram feeds. You can create a feed of posts from your user timeline, a feed of posts from any hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. We also have the social wall options as well, which lets you create an awesome feed that combines your content from different social platforms. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link for it in the description of this video. Since we're trying to create an Instagram hashtag feed, let's go and click on public hashtag. Once it's selected, press next. Now we'll have to add the source for our Instagram feed. Click add source. And on this screen, you can press login with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and you'll have to log in if you haven't already. Then you'll have to select the Instagram business account you want to connect to Smash Balloon, followed by the Facebook page associated with that account too. On this screen, I recommend you leave all the options as they are to make sure our Instagram feed functions as intended. All we're doing is giving read-only access to Smash Balloon, so the plugin can view the information it needs, but it won't be able to make any changes to your Instagram or Facebook accounts. Let's press done, and you can see that our account has now been linked to Smash Balloon. And once we press OK, it will show you the security prompt. It's just asking us to confirm that you'd like to connect your Instagram information to this domain. We can click yes and proceed. Now back in our WordPress dashboard, we can select the Instagram account here and press add. Next, we can enter the hashtags we want to feature on our Instagram feed. To enter your hashtags, simply type it in here along with a comma to submit it, just like this. And if you'd like to remove a hashtag you've entered, all you have to do is click on the cross here. You can also choose if you want to show the most recent post or the top rated post for that hashtag. Select the option you'd prefer and click next once you're happy with your hashtags. That brings us into feed templates. Here you can select from a variety of different templates for how your Instagram feed will look. You have options like default, simple grid, simple row, masonry cards, and more. You can select the one you like the most, but in this video, I'll go with the default template and click next. And here we go. We can now see a beautiful preview of our new Instagram hashtags feed. Before we go and embed this onto a page, let's customize our feed and really make it our own. Our plugin gives you many different options to customize it. Under the Customize tab, you can modify your feed layout. You have options to use layouts like the grid, like this, a carousel layout that lets you swipe through the different posts, a masonry layout that lets you preserve the original post size without cropping, and a highlight layout that lets you highlight some posts from your feed. Once you have a layout you like, you can specify how many posts you'd like to show on your feed by modifying it here. And you can even specify the number of columns you want to feature too. For each of these options, you can customize them specifically for tablet and mobile as well. After making your changes, make sure to click on Save on the top right corner. Next, to customize the color palette of your feed, head over to Color Scheme. Here you have options to inherit the colors from your theme. You can choose a light or dark theme if you'd like to. And if you want to completely personalize your colors, you can do that too with the Custom option. To change any of these colors, simply click here and select the color you want to use. After you've selected the colors you'd like, go ahead and click Save. The header of your Instagram feed is also customizable. If we go into header over here, you can choose from different header styles, you can adjust the header size, and you can even add a custom avatar or a custom bio if you'd like to as well. We also give you the option to include your Instagram stories on your feed too. If this is enabled, people can view your Instagram stories by clicking on your avatar, just like in the Instagram app itself. The posts shown on your Instagram feed can be customized as well. You can change the post style and customize how you want your captions and likes and comments count to display and you also have control over what hovering over your post does too. And if you'd like to customize the load more and follow buttons on your feed, they can easily be modified in their respective settings. You can change the ticks and choose the colors for the button background and hover state. Again, after making any changes to your feed, remember to click save to keep your changes. 
Lastly, under the settings tab, we can go into filters, where you have options to filter the content that appears on your Instagram feed. You can specify words to act as filters so that your feed allows or disallows content containing those words. You can also choose to show specific content types, whether you want just photos or video or both. And if you go into moderate your feed at the top, you can manually choose what posts you want to show, giving you complete control over what appears on your feed. If you've made any changes here, remember to click save. On our plugin, you can also view how your feed will look on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. So you can make sure your Instagram feed is looking great on all devices. Once you're happy with your new Instagram hashtags feed, you can proceed to embed it on your website. To embed your feed, click on embed on the top right corner. Here, it will present you with a dedicated shortcode for your feed. You can copy it like this and click on add to a page. Then you can select the page you want to add your feed to. Now, when editing your homepage, you have two different ways to add your Instagram feed. The first method is by using a shortcode block and pasting the code we copied earlier, like this. Or alternatively, you can use our Instagram feed block or Gutenberg, like this. And now that our feed has been added to our page, let's check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here it is. Our Instagram feed is now live and it looks fantastic. It looks just like the one we saw in the preview, exactly how we customized. Alternatively, if you'd like to add your Instagram hashtags feed onto your sidebar or footer, you can do that too. Simply click on embed like before, and this time, instead of clicking add to a page, click on add to a widget. This will take you into your WordPress widgets menu. If you wanted to add your Instagram feed to the sidebar, for example, all you'd have to do is add it like we did onto our page earlier. You can either use the short code or our Instagram feed block. And there we go. We can now save this and take a look at what it looks like on the front end. On the right-hand side, we can see our sidebar with our new Instagram hashtag feed. So we've successfully added an Instagram hashtag feed onto our web page and as a widget onto the sidebar. If you have any questions or need any help with what we've covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to check out Instagram Feed Pro, you can find a link for it in the description of this video, along with links to all our other social feed plugins for platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Make sure to check them out. And make sure to subscribe to our channel to learn more about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.